As a buyer and as a seller, you need to understand how a contingency works. There are three main contingencies that you typically work with. You're going to have an inspection contingency, a loan contingency, and or an appraisal contingency. It's not always, or sometimes not ever, typical that you actually use one. In Silicon Valley, many times, especially when the market's hot, there are very often contingencies that are completely waived. So you don't do have any contingencies at all. From a seller's perspective, non-contingent offer is really the best offer that you want. One thing to understand is that when there is no contingency, that doesn't mean that there was not inspections done. That typically means that the inspections have already been done and you're waiving the contingency of further inspections. One contingency that makes sense out of the three main contingencies, there's, there's also a fourth contingency, which is person is selling a home before they actually purchase the home. That's the fourth contingency. There's typically three we work with. But the one that I want to talk about was the appraisal contingency. And a contingency is in place to keep the earnest money deposit, the buyer held harmless from any issues of canceling the contract. And the appraisal contingency is exactly that. So the inspection, the loan, or the appraisal. The appraisal contingency is if I'm making an offer on a home that's at 1.3 and I don't, I'm not 100% sure that the value of that home is going to be there at the 1.3, which is what the seller wants. If that's the case, I'm making an offer at 1.3, but I'm saying, hey, you know what, seller? I don't know that it's for 100% sure that I'm 100% sure and my agent's not 100% sure. Always ask your agent what they think the value of the home is. I'm not sure that it's going to appraise at this value. So I have an appraisal contingency in place. That appraisal contingency is going to hold me harmless if the value of the appraisal comes back. If it comes back at 1.3 or even more, then that's fantastic and you can move forward. And let's say the appraisal does come back at 1.3 and the buyer decides to pull out for whatever reason. And it's not because of the appraisal, because of anything else. But the only contingency they have in place is the appraisal. Then the buyer's earnest money deposit is going to go to arbitration. And arbitration is the place that nobody wants to go. The reason for that is that an arbitrator's job is to make sure that nobody's happy. So that's one of the things that we always want to stay away from is arbitration. You don't have to go to court. That's not the first step here in California. But arbitration is the next step. An appraisal contingency is going to be there to keep the buyer held harmless with their earnest money deposit if the appraisal does not come back in value. So that's what we're talking about today. And let's say that if the appraisal does not come back in value, then that means the buyer can step away from the contract. They can renegotiate at the appraised value. Those are really the main two options that they have. If you have any questions, I'm always here and happy to help. Hope you have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon.